Okay, okay. Um, we can do that with carbon, I think. Oh, I could put the power canister in that. I don't want to though, I want to use it for the life support. Okay, let's get some carbon. You can get carbon from killing animals, but we're not going to do that, guys. We're not going to do that, because why would we? That's just a cruel thing to do. I think that's Faye. I'm, I am... I'm... Oh, already? Okay. Um, let's send back zinc, or send back platinum, send back copper. Um, we're going to get some more heridium, but I suppose we could send some back. I want some carbon. Hmm. But I don't want to go too far from the heridium deposit either. Uh, this plant should be carbon. I haven't scanned it yet though, so we'll do that first. Yeah, I thought that was new. Like, it's the same, it's the same colours, but it's a slightly different... Oh! Right. I need to... <laughs> I can't mine the carbon because my mining beans depleted. Uh, I could use a bit of, uh, fame. I swear I say that different every time. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You guys don't mind, do you? Right, so now let's take this. And we'll get some carbon. Okay. Now we can top this up with carbon. Oh, we still need more. Wow, okay. Oh, wow. Look at other moon. That's cool. Um, where I kind of want to, yeah, I want to stick with the one that I was working on because it seems silly to just like mindlessly destroy all of it. Like, if we maybe start from the top, it might be a bit easier to sort of get it all. Sometimes it leaves like these tiny little slivers, which is a little bit irritating. Um, I don't know if that's just me and a slight sort of OCD thing, but I kind of, if I'm clearing something, I kind of like to get the whole thing. I think it's a bit weird to leave floating bits. Um, I don't know, that's just personally my choice, but you know, whatever works for you, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter, but yeah, it's just, it's just me and um, how I like to do it. See, see, look, there's this little floaty bit here and I find that really really irritating so I'm gonna get rid of it there we go <laughs> you've got to do it right guys if you're gonna take down a rock then you know you've got to do it properly you can't just leave bits floating in the environment that's weird just weird <laughs> we are taking down a lot of this I'm quite surprised the sentinels haven't come for us yet Oh, that base looks really close. Oh no, that's not a base, that's a monument. That's like a, a monolith, it's an ancient ruin. Oh, oh, I have to show you guys that. Oh. <gasps> so cool. Oh, those plants are different as well. Can I scan them from here? Yes. And these. Might be a little bit too far away. Can you hear that? Can you hear that animal cry? I find that a little bit disturbing. Um, I don't know why, but from my experience, it seems to be a fairly similar noise, regardless of your planet, like the planet you're on, and it is t absolutely terrifying. But it is—it actually seems to be fairly rare that animals will attack you. I mean, I suppose it, it just depends on what planet you end up on, but most of the time, even the biggest, scariest looking animals from my experience so far have been completely docile and they've been vegetarian and they just run away from you. They're, just, they're herbivores, they're not interested, they're actually scared, even the ones that are like five times your size, they just run away, which <laughs> to be honest, I'm, I'm not complaining about that, that works for me, that's fine. Uh, but the only the only animals that I've come across that have been man eaters are these weird spidery insect 
things that look like a brain with squiggly legs. Um, and if I can find a picture of them, I'll show you because they are seriously creepy. And like the first time I came across them, I died because I just yeah. They they are deadly. Okay, <laughs> they are deadly. But um, yeah, you know, I think I, I've, I've worked out how to defend myself now. Can I have these bits that are floating away? No. Okay. Oh, look, the jumpy things. Oh, we'll have that. That's plutonium. Um, have we got enough iridium now? I think so. Oh, that's that. Yeah. Okay. Send that back to the ship. And how many is in the ship? 300. And is there any more in the suit? Yeah. We'll send that back to the ship. Now how much is in the ship? 571. Nice. Okay. Now we need another carbite sheet. Oh, so we need another four carbite sheets. So what we need now, guys, is iron. So what we'll do... It's because my thermal detection is getting quite low. How far away from the ship are we? Yeah, like 40 seconds, that's fine. We can boost that. So I'll get back to the ship, just as a sort of a cheap way to get my protection up. And then we'll get some iron. Oh, have I not got that I think yet? I suppose because we ended up on a different side. Some animals over there. Wow. It might be ones I've already scanned, but that's always worth a look. It is always worth getting your scanner out and checking things out. Oh see, these are new! Cool! And you're the same species, right? Look, these guys look completely terrifying, but they're docile and they're grazing. They just take the elements, they're not going to attack us. That's a baby, right? Not a different creature. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Right, here's my ship. And we'll get in. And that will get my protection up. So we'll just let that recharge a little bit. Have I got enough iron to make like at least one sheet and then we can fix one of these things? Let's see. How much have I got? Yeah, I can make two, I think. Okay, let's make one. And then let's fix... Let's fix the pulse engine. Okay, and that needs... Fayum? 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 I don't know, I haven't really decided yet, so let's put a little bit in there. And you need four carbite sheets. And I think I said they take 50 each. So, yeah, we need 200 iron, and then... And then we just like ready to go on a bit of an explore, I guess. Not that we haven't been exploring already. Um, that's one of these rocks, I think, is the closest. You look slightly different, are you? No, it's okay, you just do. Oh, okay, milestone. We repaired the ship, all sorts of milestones in this game. Right, I'm going to take out one of these, I think, to get the most iron. You know, I'm surprised the sentinels didn't attack us when we were taking down, um, I've already got that, when we were taking down that heridium, because, I mean, they seem to be, like, their sensitivity seems to be different on different planets, but we destroyed a good chunk of rock doing that, and usually that's enough to set them off and um, get them attacking you. Nice! That was a lot of iron. Right, let's send the iron back to the ship, just because it will stack a bit better. Right, one, two, as you can see there's all sorts of things we can craft, but you know, we'll get on to it as it happens. Let's send that back, and four, and let's get that done. And let's power it up with some plutonium. Nice. Okay, so now that we've done that, we can, if we want to, leave the planet. But, as I've, wrote, I've pointed out so many things, there is still so much that we can do that, you know, I don't think that's it. 
I don't think it's necessary to leave the planet straight away. Yeah, I thought I'd recognise them. Right, now I did say I would share some of the... Share. I did say I'd start interacting with some of the things around here and tell you about that. So, this is... Oh wait, that's, that's just a light, isn't it? Yeah, okay. That's not what I thought it was. Okay, never mind. Right, these we can't open because we need an atlas pass to be able to get them. Um, and that's something that we'll maybe get into a bit later, but that's something that you get later on in the game. And I've played on my other playthrough, I've probably put in a good eight hours maybe, maybe more, and I still don't have one yet. So yeah, so don't worry too much about that. Right, the cargo pods we can get. Oh, shielding plate. I can use that to charge my hazard protection suit. So that could be useful. This should be plutonium. Yeah. Okay, so this crashed bit of machinery. Oh, I was waiting for that to get a bit lower, wasn't I? Because I was going to put the power canister on it. Okay, we're all right. We're right by the ship. So this has given us some new technology. So if we want to, we can get the materials and craft this. And as you can see, this um, reduces the cooldown time for the laser on the mining thing. And there's all sorts of technologies that you just kind of collect as you go through the game, um, which I think is quite interesting. Right, uh, the other thing around here is this very strange glowing ball thing. Now, I haven't really worked out where this is going, so I'm just going to interact with it. But I'm warning you guys, this, this is a little bit weird, okay? So just, just bear with it. Reality seems to fold in on itself. One moment I can see debris, in another a vast red ore, almost too large and too bright to behold. It knows me, inside and out, more than I ever could myself. Could this be the face of creation itself? Or in my hazily, freshly awakened state, am I being manipulated? A name burns itself into my mind, Atlas, and a request made without words that I should follow the path this being, this atlas, has set for me. So, yeah, this is a little bit strange. When you accept Atlas's guidance, it it's like part of the orb gets absorbed into you, or like the light energy, and it starts guiding you on this quest. And I don't know, I honestly don't know, because I don't want to ruin it for myself on my other playthrough, if it's the right decision. But on that playthrough, I accepted the guidance, because I was like, yeah, I kind of need some guidance, I don't know what I'm doing. But just because I want it to be a little bit different, I'm going to reject it for this playthrough. Um, so yeah, let's see what happens. The red orb swells in size until I can see nothing but crimson. Am I to be smited by a god? Then in a heartbeat, it's gone. I said, I don't know what the right decision is, guys. Um, if I'm going to talk, I should probably be in my ship, because it's a little bit safer. I, I honestly don't know what the right decision is. There seems to be a couple of pathways you can take. and One of them is following Atlas and what they want to do for you and the other is to just explore freely which I think is something that I would rather do but to be honest from what I can gather the overall arcing storyline is the same regardless and that is we are trying to make it to the centre of the galaxy for whatever reason and I don't know what the reason is I guess if you get there you find out but we are on the edge of the universe we are a very very long way away from getting to the center so i'm not even going to worry about it we're just going to explore and you know we'll see what happens we're just going to take it as it comes 
thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed the video then please leave a thumbs up and comment and let me know what you thought